All right, so we're back here today at the Hoosier Racing Arena Cross. This will be day two. Um, already did our, everybody I went for our practices. Up next will be our heat races. Uh, and I'll probably put on the GoPro, but we'll see. You might just have Luke record third person. He already is, but goal for today is hopefully, you know, just stay a little bit more consistent. Uh, obviously yesterday my first heat race went terrible. I had my map and aggressive, which was not the play. That was god awful, about killed myself three times. And then, uh, yeah, so the whoops are tamed down just a little, not by much, but they are tamed down just a little bit. And uh, I'm excited. We're good. I'm up, I'm race four, or race three, whatever. And then also like race 37 and Luke's race 38. So we'll be here all night again. But yeah, we're excited, so let's go. recap today on that heat race instantly feel more in control yesterday I was just it's just gunning it and hoping for the best you know hanging on I was getting tired I was holding my breath through the whoops and through ev everywhere so I get off the track and my heart rate's 175 but that first heat um, on the start I double clutched it or something I didn't do good on the start I got best start but I did what I could try to salvage it uh, we got second to last but you know it is what it is, but all we can do is, all that is is a gate pick. It doesn't really matter. That is just for a gate pick. And I don't know if we told you guys, but we're in uh, Nebraska, right? No. We're in Council Bluffs, Iowa, which is literally like five minutes away from, we're sleeping in Nebraska. Yeah, okay, well, okay, basically, yeah. yeah, we went to Nebraska to go race. And now it's snowing. Oh, my goodness. the doors open in the arena, and it just blows nothing but cold air in, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So, uh, Dad's about to go back up, so I'm gonna do a little bit of filming of Dad, some more third person. The GoPro is dead. I might be able to charge it. I do have a battery pack, but we'll see. So, let's go see Dad.
Alright, here we got Dad on the gate for... I think this is his plus 30 class. Yeah, plus 30. He's not gonna, he's got last gate pick. That's all that was, was a gate pick. Um, so he better hopefully get a good start on that next race. Now we can fix it. This is the aftermath. It exploded and broke the subframe and had a bloody nose and hurt your wrist a little. Oh man, my wrist. Oh look, it's already, look. You can't tell on camera a little, oh yeah, a little discoloration. A little puffed up. Puffing up already. Hurts right here. Leaking Maybe oil out because the engine was upside down. It was leaking oil? How? So How did it leak oil being upside down? Because all the oil went to the head and out the vent. Oh. What are you doing?
All right, so as you guys just saw, Dad tipped over, and he thinks he either has a broken collarbone or a dislocated shoulder. He's getting checked out right now. We're not really for sure. Either way, me and Luke are probably going to have to load up everything. But uh, that's a bummer. The night's not going how he wanted. He uh, the Last time you guys even saw me, I raced the four. What was my first? Yeah, I raced. They saw You guys saw me on the outlaw. And then we, you guys just saw Dad. He was uh, one race after me. So recap for me, Outlaw class. Uh, I still didn't get a really good start, but I, uh, I ended up salvaging it a little bit. I held my own, I would say. I got a few little blessings where a couple people may have taken themselves out, went over a berm. Um, yeah, that's arena cross stuff. It's uh, definitely a brand new ter territory for us. Like totally different totally different ball game I mean same concept try to lay down a fast lap but yeah okay so here unfortunately we lost audio again but right now my dad just got back from the medics and they're saying yeah it's broken and I'm just pointing out his collarbones pushed way up there to the top and uh, yeah it's not looking good so this next video will explain or will show Take it off. You got the holy mouth? Yeah. Ooh. It doesn't it doesn't look as bad as I thought. Let's well, figure it it's just stitches. Hold on, I'm counting. No. So your collarbone's back in place? Yep. And gross. Alright, cool. And then I can send you a picture of Taking it, gun toting, Bible reading, God believing truth, speaking American, this magazine, Democrats committing treason, I know they think it's sweet.